This is Roosevelt Gist with Auto Network, and we're here at Lake Norman Dodge Jeep and Chrysler dealership. And my guest on the show is Jack Salzman, the owner. Jack, thanks for taking the time. You're welcome. Today we're going to talk a little bit in our Ask the Dealer segment. We're going to talk a little bit about the F&I department. And there's a lot of, I guess, mysticism around the department itself. Jack, tell me a little bit about what exactly are the transactions that go on in the F&I department, which is finance and insurance. The finance and insurance department is extremely important for the customer. That's where all of your documents get prepared in, in a correct manner to get the vehicle titled correctly so the, there's no issues there. Um, also, they send all the information to the bank for loan processing and things like that. Now, at what point does the customer actually go to F&I? Well, at many dealerships, uh, the customer will agree with upon the sales transaction figures with his salesperson or a sales manager. And after they've agreed on everything, then they go to the finance and insurance department to print all the paperwork. Now, the, the, the person that manages that department, what kind of experience or background do they have to have to be an efficient F&I manager? Well, one of the things that uh, we look for and most dealerships look for is somebody that's uh, very good with paperwork because obviously you're dealing with titling of the vehicles and, and, and that's extremely important. Just a courteous individual, uh, somebody who's been in the automotive field for a little bit so they understand uh, the business and, and things like that. Now, do they have to start out, you would say, as a salesperson and work their way up to that position? Many times, yes. And about how many years experience in, on the sales floor before they can even entertain moving to that spot? Well, it really depends on the individual. We've had people with two years or so uh, sales experience move into finance and do very, very well. Now, some of the other aftermarket type programs like extended warranty, the service contracts, are those conducted in, in that department as well? Yes, that's where all the um, sales of products that protect your vehicle are conducted. And since the advent, I guess, of the computer and different software systems, have you seen a decrease in the number of mistakes that occur in that department? Yes, Chrysler uh, Financial offers a program called Auto Origination, and, and what that does is make sure everything, you can send it to Auto Originate to make sure the contract is correct. It won't go past a certain step if there's a mistake, so it really helps on, you know, the time frame of doing the deal and eliminates any customer having to come back due to an error. And when you did it before, I guess pretty much manually, what, what percentage would you say of customers had to come back to re-sign contracts? Well, it, it's a, a pretty um, intense part of the business, and there's a lot of areas that a mistake can be made. Uh, there's a lot of different titling nuances and things like that, so I would say 10, 15 percent. And in terms of the number of lenders that a particular F&I manager can submit your, your loan application to, what's... What do you see an average number now for a dealership? Well, it depends on the consumer. It depends on the manufacturer. You know, at our Chrysler Jeep Dodge store, we use Chrysler Financial almost exclusively. So that helps the consumer because uh, we have such a great relationship with that one institution. But we work with probably 25 different institutions, depending upon leasing or financing and depending upon credit ranges. And now with the transaction, about how much time would a consumer expect to spend in the F&I department? I would prepare to spend up to an hour. Uh, because of many different laws and depending upon what state you're in, there's a lot of forms you'll have to sign to make sure everything is done. Titling insurance, transferring of titles and tag work and, and registrations. It just takes a long time and, and there's just a lot of documents to sign. What are some of the myths that you see that still prevail around that department itself? Well, I mean, you know, it really it depends. I mean, if you call them myths, I mean, there are some great products and some people, you know, need to take the time to listen to the benefits of those products and, and until they do that they're going to feel that there are quote unquote myths surrounding that department about what to buy what not to buy but um, the manufacturer in most cases provides a three-year 36,000 mile warranty or in some cases a little bit more but at after that point you know your vehicle could you know could have some issues and that's what an extended you know service contract is available for now do you still offer credit life and disability like in the old days we do not to, I mean uh, not a lot of people opt for that but we do offer it. We use an electronic uh, selling system so everything is there for the customer to see. It's a it's a menu based uh, selling system that we use and um, customers see exactly all the products that we offer and can choose which ones that fits their needs best. With the sophistication now in terms of salespeople being better trained, F&I managers being better trained, what's the difference you see in that department now versus say five six years ago? 
Well, we present the right products to the right customer. And, you know, like I say, with the electronic menu, they get to see it a little bit more easily versus in the past it might have been done a lot differently. And in terms of the trade-in, is that also conducted as a part of that business in the F&I department? Well, I mean, at many dealerships, your trade-in and the amount of money given towards the trade-in is all discussed on the sales floor with the salesperson and the manager, and all those numbers are agreed upon. And then really, basically, what the finance manager does is, is make sure that the interest rate's correct and ask the consumer if they'd like to buy any additional products as well. Now, does the in terms of rebates and incentives, are those also added in it during that particular time, or is that in the sales process? That's, that's in the sales process. Um, the customers want to see all the numbers and, and with the advent of the internet and everything else, many consumers know, you know, the, the vehicle and all, all the facts and features and benefits about the vehicle and the rebates are obviously on the internet as well and we disclose all that up front. And in terms of any new, let's say, products or services that you would like to see coming out of the department, what would you recommend? Well, there's a lot of great products. I mean, you know, it depends on which company you use for your for your products. If you use the manufacturer's, you know, products or use an aftermarket company, Road Hazard's a great product that's pretty new to the industry with a lot of the constructions on the roadways. It does protect, you know, your tire and wheel if there's any damage that occurs. So, the, you know, each year and each, you know, each little time period, new products that come about. Lease wear and tear was another great product that's uh, pretty new to our industry and certainly protects you when you lease a vehicle and takes care of some, some dents and things. So it's a, it's a good product as well. Now, in terms of leasing, is that was the next area I wanted to get into. Is leasing pretty much done at the sales position, or is it presented really in the F&I department? It's presented uh, in, in most dealerships, and ours included, up front in the sales process. You know, you got to really do some fact-finding and find out what the customer, you know, likes. A lot of customers have this perception that leasing isn't good, and quite frankly, it's a great option. You know, you're buying a depreciating asset, and by entering into a lease transaction, it definitely... Uh, protects you at the end of the term. Now do you find in the industry that it's, consumers are still running up against the problem of walking out of the dealership in a new car and they're finding out later that they've been placed in a lease versus a regular contract? Uh, certainly has never happened here <laughs> but uh, you know it, it should be a pretty easy transaction to understand if the customer you know if there's ever talk about mileage then it's certainly going to be a leasing transaction because leasing companies allow a certain amount of mileage it'd be 10,000 miles a year 12,000 or maybe 15,000 miles a year. And most of your transactions here you say are placed through Chrysler Financial, correct? Yeah, a lot of our transactions, we do 80% of our business with Chrysler Financial. It's just easy to have a, a, a relationship like we do with them and uh, certainly makes our business and better and it's really beneficial for our customers. Great, Jack, thanks for taking the time. Thank you. This is Roosevelt Guest with Auto Network and we're here at Lake Norman Dodge Jeep and Chrysler with Jack Salzman. And our topic today was the F&I department. And as always, please buckle up, don't drink and drive. See you next time. Thank you, sir. Appreciate your time. Good. Do you have a, a card I can?